thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we're trying something a little bit different. We have a, our first, our very first live online Zoom class called Building Your Immunity with Essential Oils. There are three of us presenting tonight. We're gonna start with um, a short PowerPoint presentation. And with that, each of us has a little something that we're going to be presenting um, that is related to building your immunity with essential oils. And we'll talk a little bit about how you can get oils in your home. So I wanna introduce myself. My name is Jeannie Blody. I'm a silver leader with doTERRA and I'm also a functional medicine certified health coach. Um, I have found that sharing what I know about wellness and natural solutions is my passion. I'm kind of excited about it. Um, and I admit that I get a little overzealous, but on the other hand, I hope you will too. I wanna also introduce my good friend and colleague, Michelle Schachter. She is a premier wellness advocate who embodies all things natural and naturally gravitated towards focusing on essential oils for emotions and stress reduction. And she's gonna talk a little bit about that later. And Michelle also happens to be a rock star as her day job, so that's exciting. Um, my other colleague and good friend, Holly Studs, is an elite wellness advocate who, whose journey started several years ago when she began to eliminate her toxic load nutritionally and then began to eliminate um, environmental toxins, and after that was lucky enough to find doTERRA to round out her plan and become a wellness powerhouse. So with that, um, I would like to tell you that I, like I said, I'm gonna talk a little bit through this short PowerPoint. Um, if you have oils nearby, there are gonna be certain points where you may wanna open a bottle and just have a sniff. Um, I don't think, you know, it, 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 you don't have one of the ones that I'm talking about, that is really okay. Just go ahead and open what you have and enjoy it. Um, and, you know, oh, and another thing that is important for you to note is that there is a button um, along the toolbar, wherever it is on your computer or device, that says chat. If you have a question or there's something that you don't want to forget, please feel free to put a question in the chat. While I'm doing the PowerPoint, I can't see those, but I'll make sure to note, and then when we're presenting our like shorter bits without the um, PowerPoint, we'll take a look and you know wherever appropriate, we'll do our best to answer. So that said, let's get started. Um, this is a PowerPoint that um, is going to kind of cover some real basic stuff about uh, essential wellness education. So we're gonna talk about uh, something that we should be talking about all year round. We, you know, right now everybody's really, really focused on flu prevention and that's fine. That's great. But the fact is if we kept our immunity up all year round, we'd have a lot less to worry about during this time of year. Um, basically we want to, you know, we're going to be talking about the health of our immune system and how it has everything to do with your resilience and your resistance. So, Let's talk about what the immune system does. Um, it's actually your body's defense system. It's designed to protect against threats known as pathogens from outside the body, such as fungi, bacteria, and viruses. Um, basically, this requires cellular machinery or intelligence in, out, inside your body so that it can differentiate between foreign objects and particles that are actually part of yourself. Um, which is kind of where that whole autoimmune title comes from. Um, when your body's functioning normally, the immune system can identify, target, and destroy disease conditions and pathogens without damaging body tissues that are native to your system. The immune system also has the complex ability to improve its capacity to protect against diseases by acquiring a memory of pathogens, that's really what we know as our immune system or um, our resistance. You know, some people just say, oh, I have a low resistance or I have a low immune system. It's, it's your body's memory of those pathogens that you've been exposed to in the past that allows you to be protected today and in the future. Um, in this way, your body is always increasing its ability to protect you against, uh, you know, present and future pathogens. So, to perform its main functions, your immune system has very diverse organs throughout your body. Some of the organs that most people are familiar with are your tonsils and adenoids, 
your thymus, your lymph nodes, appendix, your bone marrow, your spleen, you know, your liver, kidney. Um, there's a thing on this, on this slide called the payer's patch, which I'm not going to lie, I had to look that one up. And um, that is actually a collection of lymph nodes. So, and that's located in your lower intestine. So it really kind of, um, you know what? A lot of light bulbs went on for me when I looked that up because it's talking about how very connected your immune system is to your gut. This is, this is why we all say, you know, your gut health is so important to your immune system. Um, in any event, those organs that I mentioned are um, supporting or producing white blood cells. So there are so many different types of white blood cells roaming through your body that are making protection against any of those pathogens that I talked about earlier, like fungi, fungi, fun fungus, mold, and, um, and viruses. So that immune system is one of your most critical systems in your body. And without it, we can't, you know, nothing else really, nothing else really jives. If you don't have a strong immune system, something, part of you is always going to be down. So we want to, you know, we definitely want to avoid that. Um, some of the factors of your immune health are um, different types of exercise, managing feelings of stress, nutrition, what you're, you know, what you're putting in your body is what is supporting your body, and of course, you know, why we're here, to learn a little bit more about essential oils. So you want to be able to know what you can do to support um, the health of your immune system. At your core, you may require to, you know, different, you know, to focus on different areas of, you know, these contributing factors, like, um, you know, maybe you sleep really well, but you're, you know, you're not getting enough exercise. You need to, you know, you need to balance that out. Maybe you're not really managing your stress very well, and that's cascading into poor sleep. And again, we need to balance that out. And we'll talk about that later. So um, this brings us to a key point. To promote your best immune health, you need to focus on multiple aspects of your healthy lifestyle. Like I just said, if you're neglecting one area, it's going to hinder your efforts to achieve your best immune health. <clears throat> Let's talk about exercise. Let's talk about the elephant in my room, guys. Um, it is an important part of maintaining the health of your immune system. The question is, what's the best way for you to reach that, you know, reach that goal for your body. It's not the same for everyone. Some people feel they don't have enough time. Some people have plenty of time, but you know, what they're doing isn't really supporting their best health. Maybe, um, you know, if you're running marathons, sometimes that can, that can actually cause, you know, different systems to go on overload. And that's not always, you know, super healthy either. You know, there's, there's, there's definitely extremes. Um, there have been studies recently that um, I'm kind of excited about to be honest, actually, it's not super recent, but it's been coming to the, to the forefront more recently about a type of exercise called HIIT. It's H-I-I-T, and that's high intensity interval training. And the cool thing about that is you can do it in as little as 15 minutes a day. Um, I personally have found some success in just finding um, different programs of that on YouTube to be honest. I mean, you can, you know, you can certainly do that at a gym and I know there's tons of classes out there that offer that. Um, but what's great about it is it helps you to get your heart rate up at different intervals in a short amount of time. So you're sweating, you're getting your heart rate up, you're bringing it back down and you're doing that. Um, in less time. And that's not to say that on an alternate day, you don't want to maybe practice some yoga or go for a run. It's just that if you, if you can get um, those types of exercise um, sessions in a couple times a week, it's actually really healthy. And I do want to remind you, I'll try to remember to go over some of this stuff later, but um, with that, doTERRA has a fantastic science blog that talks about stuff like this all the time. And if you just Google doTERRA science or doTERRA science blog, if you're on Facebook, they have a Facebook group as well. Um, but that's somewhere where you can get more resources for this kind of information. Um, while I'm talking about exercise, I don't want to forget to tell you that there is a product called Deep Blue Polyphenol Complex. If you are someone that maybe has taken a break from exercising and you get back into it and you get that kind of sore thing going on, um, Deep Blue Polyphenol Complex is amazing in supporting um, occasional aches and pains, joint discomfort. And by the way, it's not just for that type of joint discomfort, but tonight we're concentrating on exercise but it's also great for other conditions that cause, you know, discomfort in your body and joint pain and, and that kind of thing. 
moving right along, we're gonna now talk about stress. Um, ultimately, if you ask everyone in a room to raise their hands um, and talk about what is keeping them from having their optimum health, more often than not, you're gonna see most hands raised you know, to answer that with stress. Um, how does it factor into the health of your immune system? Well, when you're stressed, it increases the levels of cortisol in your body. Cortisol is commonly known as a stress hormone. And what happens is when that spikes, it's, it's triggering your parasympathetic hormones. What that means to your body is it's triggering your fight, flight, or freeze um, reaction. What that does is when that's spiking, it's depressing your body's function of your immune system. It's, it's lowering, it's actually lowering your immunity. So it's making you more susceptible to any of the things that are around you, any of those pathogens, colds, viruses, anything. Um, and it, it, may, it may start to like interrupt other areas of your life as well. Like when your stress is high, your sleep may not be great, or you're, you may be craving different foods, and, and we'll touch on nutrition in a little bit. Um, but what happens is once that, once that spikes and your immune system drops, it's leaving your body vulnerable to infiltration and attack by those pathogens. So we want to be able to manage and reduce those feelings of stress, reduce the cortisol levels, help your immune system flourish. While a number of different approaches can be effectively used to reduce those feelings, it may vary from person to person. What works for me may not work for you. So we're going to kind of go over a couple of different options. Um, there are tons of different essential oils. Um, I'm going to name a bunch. There's a list here that you know, comes with this slide. So I'm going to just talk about that really briefly. But I want you to feel free to open whatever you have. Um, this one talks about arborvitae, balance, geranium, past tense, blend, patchouli, um, sandalwood, and vetiver. They all happen to be really, really strong grounding oils. Um, what happens is when you grab a grounding oil, it's going to reduce feelings of stress, which can help keep your cortisol at a healthier level. Um, that's going to help support a healthier immune function. So if you know you're at a place where you're triggered, you know you're going to be triggered, have one of those oils that you know is going to help um, during that time. I'm taking out my balance right now. If you have it, that's great. If you have any of those others that I mentioned, and by the way, balance has a couple of other oils in it. It's a blend. Any of the pine oils would do as well. Um, another, you know, um, frankincense is another just amazing grounding oil, but I'm going to just take a minute and take a deep breath in my balance right from the bottle. Okay. Um, what happens is when you're experiencing feelings of stress, you can, you know, do a couple of different things. You can, like I said, sniff right from the bottle. You can set up a diffuser with um, patchouli, sandalwood, and vetiver can help you when you're diffusing them aromatically. You can, like I said, it just diff um, rather inhale it directly from the bottle, take very deep breaths, employing um, a program called Heart Math, which there's a device that you can connect to your, you know, your, um, your phone or any kind of um, you know, a device. But you can also just take a minute, take five seconds to take a deep, deep breath in, hold it for five, and then exhale for five while inhaling your oil. And that too is just a fantastic way to ground yourself. Walk outside, put your feet on the ground. Um, put, that, put that balance on the bottom of your feet and do that. That's another fantastic way to, um, to, to bring down that cortisol level. So anyway, before a big meeting, any of that stuff, get, get the oils that you need in your diffuser, get, a, get an aromatherapy bracelet like mine, and, which I'm holding up if, if you're able to see the, um, the video um, feature here. Take, you know, take that. Get it on the bottom of your feet if you know you're not going to be able to be sniffing something at your big meeting. There are so many ways that you can do that. So feel free to take your bottle out and have a, have a quick whiff while I move on <clears throat> to the next. Ah, sleep. That is huge. And I can tell you that I know a lot of people, lots of people come to me with questions about how they can sleep better. But... Um, it's not just something that drives us crazy. It actually really has a serious impact on your immune health. Inadequate sleep can also increase levels of cortisol in your body, just like stress can. 
So with feelings of stress, it continues to go on to decrease your immune health when it's elevated for long periods of time. So you want to um, try to manage both these things together. For some people, it's difficult to develop a good sleep habits. Uh, different choices can promote better sleep habits, just like reducing exposure to blue light before sleep, not eating late at night, avoiding strenuous exercise several hours before bed, um, lowering the temperature in your room, only using your bedroom for sleep, not to like watch TV and even read um, in your bed. If you find yourself waking up, get out of your bed. Don't spend too much time you know, ruminating about it. Then, you know, make yourself tired and read elsewhere and then get back in. Um, while you're getting into your bed, however, there are so many things you can do to kind of head that off. Before we get to that place where you have to go have that midnight walk, um, balance again is a fantastic oil for sleep. Breathe, serenity, some single oils like clary sage, lavender, sandalwood, promote feelings of calmness. I happen to love Roman chamomile. Um, create an ideal environment for you by putting them in your diffuser, getting them on your feet half an hour ahead and, and, and the diffuser as well, dimming the lights and obviously, you know, turning them out when you're getting ready to go to sleep. A um, couple of drops of lavender in a warm cup of tea, believe it or not, and make that a Roman chamomile tea um, before bedtime. Um, apply the, apply the, uh, oils to the bottom of your feet or even up your spine behind your ears. Sometimes I put them in the palm of my hand and I just kind of like lay on this on my side and cut my hands around my nose. I'm, I'm demonstrating that now. I don't know if you can see me or not. But um, I happen to use a diffuser in my bedroom every night. We use Breathe every single night. We mix it up. Sometimes we put in balance, serenity, sometimes both. We almost lately have always been putting in on guard. There's always a tickle or something going on. Um, some people find um, the citrus oils are more calming for them. It's, it's all about body chemistry. So this is a great time for me to mention to you that um, every person's body chemistry is different. And uh, one oil that works for me may not work for you. So you kind of want to, you know, test out, test it out, see what, see what works. Um, moving right along. Sleep, as, we, as I mentioned, is decreasing your immune health. Um, but in addition to that, I'm stuck on that one, okay, is nutrition. Every function of your body benefits from proper nutrition. Essential nutrients, including carbs, fats, proteins, vitamins, and minerals, are giving your body the energy and materials it needs to carry out your cellular function and Support key cells in your body all day long and during your sleep time. Um, your immune sy system is no exception. If you can avoid processed foods, if you can eat whole foods, if you can reach for organic foods, if you can reach for grass-fed meats, that's definitely going to support that effort as well. Um, you want to stay away from processed. You want to stay away from sugar. You want to do your best to stay away from things that cause sensitivity in your body. And by the way, Sensitivity doesn't always result in digestive issues, but can also result in interrupted sleep or stress, believe it or not, or, you know, those feelings of like um, a cold coming on all the time or a nasal drip or, or something like that or, or skin eruptions. So know that um, you could have a sensitivity to food that's manifesting that way. It's not always just going to be digestive. Um, digestive. Um, for that reason, I recommend that everyone use lifelong vitality supplements, which is what's pictured here in this slide. Um, contained within that vitality, the lifelong vitality pack are three products that have had a profound effect on my immune health. First, the Microplex VMZ is providing a foundation for immune health with key vitamins and minerals in a revolutionary glycoprotein matrix that boosts bioavailability. So what does that mean? It means that all the vitamins and the minerals that are in that particular supplement are enhancing each other's efficacy in your body. They're bioavailable to your cells when they're taken together in that particular pill and with the other two bottles that are in that same kit. So in addition to that, the next product is Alpha CRS. That's formulated with potent levels of polyphenol antioxidants to support your healthy immune function. What does that mean to you? That means we know there are certain foods that are really high on the ORAC scale. And the ORAC scale is actually um, calculating 
the antioxidants in foods. Um, we know blueberries are high. We know pomegranates are high. Um, I know there's like some really obscure berry in China that's like insanely high that you can't even get your hands on. Okay, so forget that. You need alpha CRS because it has like exponentially higher numbers of antioxidants. So I'm talking like in the hundreds of thousands of antioxidants versus like 10,000 in a cup of blueberries, which are also fantastic, by the way. And I'd love to see you eat a cup of blueberries in addition to taking your alpha CRS. Um, in, um, in addition, the final item that's in Lifelong Vitality is the XE Omega, which includes crucial omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, um, that are deficient in most of our diets, mine included. As healthy as I feel like I eat, I know I don't get enough of those particular nutrients in my body. I need those fatty acids. We all do for brain health, for skin health, for energy, to, to help to support your sleep. Um, all three of these are, are also benefiting every one of your body systems, including your respiratory health, your cardiovascular health, your digestive health, and your immune system, which is why we're here. Um, you're basically taking two tablets of each of the Microplex VMZ, the Alpha CRS, and the XE Omega in the morning. Um, you can take th uh, two of each, so it's six, with your breakfast, and then you can take the others either with your lunchtime meal or sometime later in the day or dinner. I like taking it with food. I feel like taking it with a little bit of um, fat helps to bind the, all of the different nutrients to the cells in your body that need it most. So I prefer to take it with a meal. Um, I should also tell you now that although it's not shown, doTERRA also has a fantastic kids program. Um, their, you know, their protocol rather, um, their children's A to Z chewables and their liquid IQ mega are amazing. Um, the chewables are really popular. I know some adults that don't like to swallow pills and they take them too, and they're doing great. So there's that. Another thing that I tell everyone I know is every human should be taking a probiotic, period, hands down. Um, even if you eat a yogurt every day, it just doesn't have the same beneficial bacteria that a high quality probiotic is going to have. So while we're looking at the PB Assist, let's talk about healthy gut micro, microflora or microbiome. You know, there's a couple of different ways that people refer to it. Um, this refers to the trillions of friendly microorganisms that live within our digestive tract. Uh, research has shown again and again that our gut microflora play a large role in your health and wellness. And we may not have even known that until very recently. Um, I know lots of doctors still don't really even acknowledge that relationship. We talked a little bit about that earlier, um, about where that, those, um, those lymph nodes are located in your, in your digestive tract, in your intestines. And um, so that plays such a huge role in the functions of breaking down and absorbing the key nutrients in your foods and keeping your digestive tract intact, keeping your foods from, um, I guess, ultimately becoming part of what has more recently become well known as leaky gut syndrome. When, when the barriers that are holding your your gut microflora together, your microbiome together, um, kind of referred to as almost like a picket fence around your stomach. Consider like that, that, that barrier that's protecting your intestines from the rest of your organs. You want to keep those, those foods you're eating inside there. And believe it or not, as you continue to eat food and drink, that are causing sensitivities in your body, those barriers are opening up and it's literally causing particles of food and bacteria to break free and to kind of roam around rogue uh, within your other organs. And that is something that you want to avoid. By keeping your digestive tract healthy and intact, you're preventing that. So that when you don't eat perfect foods, they're, they're still being digested properly and being, you know, escorted out the proper route and not, you know, as I said, going rogue in your digestive tract. You definitely want to avoid that. Um, so when the healthy colonies of friendly bacteria are present in your intestine, they're maintaining a positive balance and proliferating the beneficial bacteria while preventing the ad adherence and colonization of the bad microorganisms. So that's, that's the, um, the technical term for what I just said of your bacteria going rogue in your digestive system. Um, 
without that thriving probiotic environment that fosters the growth of that friendly microbiome, the less friendly microbes have, a, have free reign in your gastrointestinal tract. PB Assist is recommended for anyone that's considering having positive microbiome. So what does that mean? Every human needs a probiotic. Isn't that how I started this? Yes. Um, each of the proprietary strains in PB Assist has been demonstrated to have superior propensity for intestinal adhesion and colonization. Um, what does that mean to you? It means it's got a lot of strains. It's got, um, hang on a minute and I'll tell you, blah, blah, blah. Six billion colony forming units of six active strains of cultures. What I like about doTERRA's in particular is that it's double encapsulated. This is really unique to doTERRA's PB Assist. What that means to you is that there's prebiotics in the outer, in the clear outer layer, and those are distributing where you need them in your higher levels of um, intestine, you know, all the way from your esophagus all the way down into your stomach. Then what happens is it begins to break down into the second layer, that double encapsulation, you know, the inner encapsulated um, area, and that's where the... Um, the actual probiotic is, that's not going to distribute until it gets to your lower intestine. This is unique to PB Assist, and it's really, really high quality. And what I also happen to appreciate about it is that it does not have to be refrigerated because of that unique double encapsulation. So you can take it on the go. It's nice because you can just grab it and take it with you other than the, you know, there's other types that you can't do that with. So I also want to talk about essential oils and how they can be used to support your immune function. Um, basically, we wanna, I'm gonna go over a couple of different um, ways you can use them. A number of oils can be used to support the immune system when taken internally. When used appropriately, internal usage is a very powerful and effective route of application. Because of the way our bodies metabolize the compounds found in essential oils, it's actually safer and more effective in the internal mode to use smaller amounts of essential oils over consistent time intervals rather than a single application. So what does that mean to you? It means one or two drops is important to take once, but if you want to, you can do that again in three or four hours, as opposed to if you were, say, to take an over-the-counter pain reliever that's good for eight hours and it's a bigger pill and it's lasting all that time, you can do one or two drops, whether you do it in a veggie cap um, which we'll talk about later, or in a cup of water and just do it as a shot. Um, that's a safe way to do it. Something that's important to note is that not every oil is safe to use internally. For example, I happen to have Balance sitting out. Balance is a blend that does not have a supplement label on it, so it's not safe for that. But I'm going to grab another favorite, which happens to be Wild Orange, and this one does have a supplement label on it. So it's, the screen's kind of small, and we, we can definitely show you that later. But what that means is you can use that one internally. Um, so basically, you want to take and divide those drops that you would have taken all at once in, like, say, three or four different applications, either in a veggie cap or in a shot, taken internally, or even just putting a drop under your tongue. Um, it's definitely important to remember to exercise caution and safety when your immune system is fighting off any sort of invasion. So even though it might seem useful to sort of just dump oils all over yourself, let's say if you start to feel sick um, or you start to know that you caught a cold or something's going on, you want to use more frequent applications of less oil. This includes topical application, by the way, than you know, dumping it all over your body or you know, putting it, you know, up your arms and down your legs or whatever. You just want to use a little bit on the bottom of your feet or the area of concern like your throat or up your spine, um, and that's it. So now that we've gone over some of the safety principles regarding oils, I'd like to go over some single oils that can strongly support the health of your immune system. Um, cassia, cinnamon, lime, marjoram, melaleuca, oregano, Roman chamomile, tangerine, thyme, vetiver, and wild orange can all help to maintain and support your immune system when taken internally. So you could use them internally if you're comfortable doing that in the way that I just mentioned, a drop or two in a veggie cap or in a shot of water, or you could apply it topically as well. Those oils are all highly antiviral, antibacterial, antimicrobial, 
antiseptic, all of the above. You are safe using any of those oils in a situation where you feel your immune system has been compromised. Um, in a little while, Holly is going to go over in more detail about how you want to do that. One of the oils that is um, really, you know, top notch in terms of supporting your immune function is a blend specifically formulated to support it, and that is DoTerra's On Guard. It's a proprietary blend um, providing natural and effective alternatives for immune support. So, in the past, maybe you would have. Um, you know, grab, you know, a glass of orange juice, which we now know is a little bit higher in sugar. This is a way that you can help to support your immune system the minute you find something that isn't feeling well. I can see there's a hand raised. Um, can you make a, can you put a comment in the chat bar and we'll take a look at that um, when I'm finished with the, with the um, PowerPoint, if that's okay. Um, in any event, um, going back to the On Guard, you can take On Guard internally. In fact, this oil is also available in a soft gel, um, which doesn't just contain On Guard, but also contains black pepper, oregano, and melissa for additional immune support. So you could take uh, one or two of those in the morning or at night if you're starting to feel something come on. Um, but On Guard happens to be an oil blend that I and everyone I know uses on their feet every single day, morning and night. And that's just a great way to um, protect your immunity every day. You know, my goal is for the people that I know and that I support with information about essential oils and just, you know, treating your wellness naturally is that you want to use that every day all year round so that you're not going to be faced with as many of those times when you're starting to not feel well and then you need to hit it a little harder with some other stuff, which we'll also talk about in a little while. Um, you, can, you can use On Guard internally. You can use it topically and you can use it in the diffuser. If you know you're going to have a house full of people and, or you're going to have a meeting and there's going to be people of varying you know, different you know, health situations or whatever, um, Go ahead and put your on guard into your diffuser that day for sure when you have a lot of people coming, um, you know, coming by. There's also a fantastic new on guard product um, called On Guard Hand Sanitizing Mist. And I think I have it nearby, so I want to grab that and show you because we're also prone to go ahead and grab um, hand sanitizing uh, Purell or any of that, that gel stuff. Um, that is not necessarily a great thing for what it does because it takes away a lot of the good bacteria in your body. But in addition to that, it also has so many chemicals in it and you're applying that directly to your skin, which is your largest organ. So you kind of want to, um, you know, you kind of want to avoid, uh, you know, applying those chemicals to your skin. This is a fantastic way to get on guard on your skin while also protecting it from those other pathogens that we talked about earlier. Um, I actually sprayed some airplane seats with this a couple weeks ago. I spray my, you know, my pocketbook if I've been in a hospital, which I just was recently, um, my bag that I carried with me. So that's a great product. Um, I also use On Guard when I strip my beds and I spray my pillows and my sheets. I mean, and my mattresses with that as well. So On Guard is like a probiotic, something that every human should be using every single day. Um, in addition to the two things that I was just talking about, On Guard also comes in an amazing little protective beadlet, um, which has half a drop, and there's also uh, On Guard protecting throat drops, which are amazing. And if you're coming down with anything at all, you just pop one of those, and it's it it brings those oils to you. But it also is just the most amazing, soothing thing. Um, they're portable, convenient. You can you know. This is, if you can't bring your oils everywhere or you, there's no way you're going to be able to spray yourself or, or you, know, doubt, you know, get your shoe off and get your sock off and get an oil on when somebody next to you is actually getting sick, which has actually happened to someone I know recently, um, pop a beadlet. Getting on a plane, pop a beadlet. Shook hands with somebody that coughed five seconds later, pop a beadlet or a, or a throat drop. Um, this is a fantastic immune booster without needing to worry about an oil. So. Um, to recap, our immune system is what we need to battle infection to keep us healthy. If we don't keep healthy, it's not able to fight for us. So by 
practicing all those things we talked about, like reducing stress, better sleep, eating better, exercising all year round, in addition to applying our oils during those times, we're not going to have to worry about it as much. Those factors that are contributing, we just talked about. Okay. That is the end of the share. I'm very excited about that. So now we can kind of all see each other, although it seems like not really. Um, I'm going to introduce my colleague, Holly, who I will now unmute to um, tell us a little bit about different ways to integrate oils into your daily life. Holly, take the floor. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Okay. All right. First thing I do every day is I get my glass of water out and I get my lemon oil out and I drink two or three drops start off my day get my organs moving and just you know kind of support my body to um, you know get ready for what's going to come my way so I do that and I actually I drink it all day long and I'll sometimes switch up with a little bit of grapefruit sometimes a little bit of lime sometimes a little bit of ginger just what I'm feeling like I want to drink that day and I, I'm going to show you a couple super super easy ways to help support your immune system, get out your veggie caps. Everybody have these? If not, you need to get some. Okay, just open it up, hold on, there we go. Open up your veggie cap. And like Jeannie said, you can use just one or two drops. Um, there is a, um, a blend that a lot of people use called Flume, which is an easy way to remember that. It's frankincense, lemon, on guard, oregano, and melaleuca. I have st I started using the veggie caps with my own blend before I found out what flume was, so I kind of stick with that. So it's a little bit different, but it's still got some of the same oils. I like to use some clove. You can get a couple drops of clove. It's hard to see. Hold on, I'm dripping it. There we go. All right. Let me do some melaleuca. A couple week uh, we came back from vacation a couple weeks ago, and um, I started feeling the, you know, the sore throat, the thickness in my throat. Um, you know, I had been eating uh, food I don't normally eat and wasn't working out like I should have been. So it kind of caught up to me. And so I started making this blend and um, within, I would say, let's see. Can everybody see me doing this? Okay. I just want to make sure because I can't see myself. I'm small. So I just want to make sure everybody can see me doing this. Um, and, you know, it took it, I, I did this for about, um, I want to say five days and I was good to go. Never got sick. I, I had maybe one day of a little bit of cough, but I never missed work. I never, uh, had, you know, I, I got back to the gym. And when you're, you know, you get a cold or you get sick, you can't breathe. You can't, you know, you're coughing, you're runny nose, you're sneezing. The last thing you can really can do is go to the gym and, you know, go about your day normally. And I really could go about my day normally. I knew there was a tiny little something in there. But these oils really helped me fight it off and just my use of oils on a daily basis set me up to fight it off and then I just kind of stepped it up a little bit and you know there we go so and I put a couple drops of cinnamon in I like straight up cinnamon because our modern essentials book says there is no fungus virus or bacteria that can survive in the presence of cinnamon so I go straight for the big boy when I'm trying to fight this off and then I, you know, do this, put your, uh, on there. Oh, hold on. I just dropped it. You give it, oh, here it is. You give it a little shake. Oh, it's slimy. Sorry. I spilled it on my hand. You give it a little shake, which is what I do. And then I just pop it, drink it with my lemon water. Also, another thing I like to do is I make my own rollerball. This is my, I'm not getting sick rollerball. And it's got about 30 drops of oil in there. I use 10 frankincense. I'm going to make one right here and show you how easy it is. Okay. And I take 10 of my On Guard. And I take, where did I put my lemon one? Um, hold on, I was drinking it. Oh, there it is. And I take 10 of my lemon. And then I just also give this a shake and then I rub it on my hand just to see if I like the smell of it. If it's not quite where I want it to be, 
I add maybe a little more lemon. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of wild orange. I mean, you can use, you can add lavender if you want to. You can add peppermint if you want to. You can, you know, make it your own. And that's what's so fun about the oils that you just find what works for you, what you enjoy. But, you know, all these oils can really do such wonders for you. So, you know, this is super easy. You um, fill it up right here. Some fractionated coconut oil if I don't spill it all over myself. Alrighty, pop your roller top in and you're ready to go. I will sometimes rub it behind my ears. I, if I'm having a sore throat, I'll rub it right on my throat, on the back of my spine. I've even put it in my belly button and I definitely rub it on the bottoms of my feet before I go to bed. So, you know, these are super easy ways that you can support yourself and that took all of what? I don't know how long have I been doing this, three, four minutes? It's, it takes no time at all, and you know, you're really supporting yourself. Also, one other thing I wanted to tell you about was the Purify Oil. Now, this is not one that you can take internally. I don't know if you can, can you see it. This is not one to take internally, but it's called the Cleansing Blend, and it's all um, you know, citrus. And I clean with it. I put it in my glass spray bottle. Sometimes I switch it up. I, use, I do use the On Guard Cleaner, and I use On Guard Spray to clean. But sometimes in the spring and summer, I like the summery, you know, citrusy smell. So I'll use Purify. And it is anti, like you said, anti everything. And you are killing the bacteria, the viruses, the fungi, the fungi that, you know, come into our homes and, you know, that your kids bring in, your animals bring in, that we bring in. So, you, you know, you're really supporting yourself with this as well. And then one other thing I do, you know, I see my diffuser back here. I also um, will, um, Diffuse on guard and purify together. It's a great smell, and you're cleaning your air, and so you, everything you know, your whole family's breathing in. So you're really uh, helping boost your immunity and uh, immunity of your family this way as well. And that's all I have. It's super easy. Thank you very much, Holly. Um, that was awesome. I really appreciate that. One thing that you touched on briefly, but I want to let everybody know is, Holly mentioned um, the On Guard Cleaner. There is, in addition to the On Guard products that I talked about, the On Guard Cleaner she refers to is called On Guard Concentrated Cleaner, and you can use that um, in a, you know, you can, I happen to use that in a spray bottle. I'm not going to go running around and grabbing it now, but to clean my countertops, and, and I put it in a bucket and clean my floors, and I just learned today that you can even put it in your dishwasher, which I'm going to start doing because oh, nice. that's been an area that I haven't been able to. Oh, thank you. There you go. So that's, that's awesome. Weird. And there's also On Guard Laundry Detergent. So if you're looking to lessen your toxic load, this is a way to do that too. And the hand so, soap too. We did. Oh, and, 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 and I, I also <laughs> have the hand soap at every one of my sinks. So that and that's and that's huge. That's a really big piece of our wellness. Is is the um, you know, is is lessening your toxic load as well. So in addition to making the oils in your, um, <laughs> we need to screenshot that. Um, you know, for your wellness, you also want to you know get rid of the chemicals in your life, which we talk about often in my in my Facebook group. If you're not in the group and you want to join, um essentially Genie Wellness, or uh, we all have a group. There's Michelle's Essentials, and there's also uh, Holly's Oil Change Group. And I know Courtney has a name of a group. If you want to put it in the chat, I can't remember what it is now, Courtney, but if you want to type it into the chat, that'd be cool. Um, so Holly, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. I'm going to mute you and unmute Michelle, if that is okay. Um, all right, Michelle, let's go. You need to unmute yourself too, I think. Shall I? But I'm there, there, there you go. Okay. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I um, think that Jeannie and Holly did a fabulous job of covering pretty much everything we were intending to cover tonight. I am just going to add a few more minutes to this to give you another perspective. And you might hear by the sound of my voice. I have a little sniffle going on myself right now. Um, so I want to mention this. I felt like it was an authentic way to show you. Yes, it's possible to still get sick if you're using oils. However, I used to be in a situation where I was one of those people that if anything was going around, I was going to be the first one to get it. 
and it was going to turn into a sinus infection, which then in turn turned into bronchitis. And I was on all kinds of medications very frequently, and it affected my quality of life, frankly. I couldn't do all the things that I am able to do now because I was always worried about losing my voice or you know, having sinus fits and allergy reactions to everything. This is very um, unusual for me right now. This is, a, it, I can't tell you the last time that I had um, a situation like this. And as Jeannie mentioned earlier, we all, and Holly actually um, discussed, you know, sometimes you go on vacation and you maybe eat things that you're not typically eating and, and whatever it is lowers your resistance. Um, sometimes it's just life coming at you all at once and uh, an increased level of stress. So the two things that I wanted to talk about are stress management and also immune support when something does slip through. So I'm just going to start with that because obviously something has slipped through on me and I want to give you a few tips of things that have helped me manage it and still be able to um, get all my responsibilities taken care of. You know, mom doesn't have time to be sick. So um, some of the things that I do when something slips by, I one of the things I swear by are the on guard supplements. This usually prevents me from getting anything. As soon as I start to feel like a little tickle in my throat or a sniffle, I start taking my on guard plus soft gels. Um, another thing that I think is also helpful, Jeannie talked a lot about the probiotic and how important that is. And what I'll do, since I do take the PB assist regularly, um, but sometimes if I'm not feeling well, I'll double up on it. And that can help me get rid of whatever's going on a lot faster. So um, I'm on day three right now, and I'll, I'll tell you that with all the things that I'm doing, I'm feeling a lot better. My voice came back completely, and I'm sleeping well at night, which is also key, so it doesn't get that much worse. Another thing that's really handy, and I should have had one in front of me so I could show you. Holly, you were such a good demonstrator. But I do something called a steam cup. So I'll take some boiling water, and I'll put it in a, a cup with a nice big opening. Uh, coffee cup or whatever, and I'll add two drops each of lemon, melaleuca, oregano, and on guard, and then I just hold that cup, so or hold my face over the cup and kind of cup my hands so that I breathe in the steam, and I'll breathe it in through my mouth and through my nose, and that really can help open things up, but it also helps deliver those oils into your your mucous membrane areas and it can make a big difference. So I'll do that if I'm really congested, especially, that's a great way to kind of open things up. Um, and then since I don't like to waste a drop of my precious oils, I will then add some salt to it. So I might just use some sea salt or um, rock salt or whatever I have handy and dissolve that in there. That kind of helps emulsify the oils and blend it in with the water. A little better and now this might not be for everyone because these oils are a little intense especially the on guard that's when you want to use diluted um, when you use it topically because it can be a little hot but <coughs> if you're up for the challenge um, what I will do with that mixture then is I will gargle with it I don't recommend that you necessarily swallow it because that might be a little too intense for you but um, I'll just gargle with it and kind of try to clear out anything that might be in my throat um, and use, use it up that way. Um, the other thing that I do, and I, I mentioned that I'm sleeping well in spite of, you know, whatever's going on with my head right now, um, diffuse, diffuse, diffuse is so important. And especially at night next to where you're sleeping, I do not like to go to sleep without my diffuser on. I like to apply oils topically, but I find that um, having my diffuser on um, with maybe some eucalyptus and lavender, which is very calming together, that just helps me get a good restful night's sleep and helps keep my airways open and deliver that oxygen that I need to my blood, um, to my lungs. Um, another obvious choice would be breathe or on guard when you're sleeping. So those are just some things. So um, 
that's how I'm supporting moving this little head cold I've got out of the out of my system very quickly. I also make very clear in my thoughts that these germs are not welcome here. So a little mindfulness is also helpful. Um, and then I just want to spend a couple more minutes talking about stress management. Jeannie did a really great job of talking about that and some different oils that you can use um, to help manage your stress. But that's a very important, sorry, my dog is trying to get out of my office. That's a very important piece to um, your immune system because, uh, well, and as most of us who, especially I think moms tend to do this, not only do we put ourselves last on the list sometimes, sometimes we don't even make the list. So I wanna tell, the, or tell you some things to do for yourself in the spirit of securing your own oxygen mask first before you're able to help others. You really need to support yourself and you shouldn't feel um, selfish in doing that because you are not going to be of service to others and if, if your own energy sources are depleted. So this is really important and I, I want everyone to take that in for a minute and really embrace the idea that taking care of yourself is something that you do for everyone else as well. Um, so what I like to do is you know, try to live my life in a way that I'm ready for everything. Because as we know, with all of our responsibilities and things that happen in our day and the news that we hear and, and you know, situations that come up and hijack our days sometimes, um, we don't have control over that. What we do have control over, more than most of us realize though, is how we respond to it and how we feel. Um, you can choose your emotions. What happens is our feelings are chemicals that our bodies react to. Um, and what I mean by that is when you have a thought, that thought becomes a feeling, and then your body creates a chemical response like producing more serotonin or adrenaline or um, chemicals that block serotonin or some of the things that help your immune system. And what happens is our reactions can become habitual. So we get into these same chemical cycles. So it's not just our thought patterns that are habitual, but the chemical reactions in our body also become habitual and can leave us feeling in the same stuck or even desensitized feelings over and over again. So we want to break that cycle sometimes when it's not healthy for us and create a new habit. And we have the power to do that. Um, when we think about something as simple as an aroma, you don't necessarily think of how powerful that is to your body and how your body reacts to it. But the reason that your body does have such a strong, our, our olfactory system is located right in the amygdala. It's based in the amygdala of your brain. And the essential oils or the aromas that we smell are like messenger molecules. And we have those receptor cells for our olfactory system throughout our bodies. So that does create a chemical reaction. Um, and you can partner. I mean, it's such a beautiful thing. You can partner with your body's chemistry to take control of your attitude and your emotions and your feelings. And I like to say, it's like you can choose from a menu of how you want to feel. And doesn't that sound nice that we could have more control over that? So um, a couple little tips that I want to give us that maybe if you're like me and you get overwhelmed when you think of all the things going on and all that you have to handle. Um, one of the things that I like to do is have a routine at night and I also have a routine in the morning. So one of the things that I do at night is um, I might make a list. Um, sometimes I'm just overwhelmed with all that I need to accomplish. So I'll start with um, an oil that calms me and relaxes me because I want to, oh, great idea, Jeannie. Everybody grab your serenity and take a whiff. Um, I want to start by lessening that feeling of overwhelm. I just want to calm things down. It's going to be okay. I'm going to get as, what I can done. It is what it is. Whatever mantra you need to use. But I will make a list of, even if it's only three things, it will help calm my mind as well that, this is something doable. I can accomplish these three things tomorrow. 
So I'll smell my oil. I might put it on the bottom of my big toe. So it goes to my brain and help calm myself, make my list. And then I put that away and I can go to sleep, have my diffuser and I'm ready to have a nice restful state so I can get some sleep. Then in the morning, um, again, before my feet ever hit the floor, and this is a really like hard rule I make for myself, and it took me a while to do this, but I put on my balance before I do anything. My alarm goes off in the morning, I take a deep breath, and I grab my bottle of balance before I do anything else, and I put some on the bottom of my feet. And balance is my choice. You might have others, there are lots of good ones um, to use, but that's where I start. And that just helps me feel like it's going to keep me grounded and ready to come, take care of whatever comes my way and just roll with it like a strong tree in the ground that can sway with the wind, but I'm not going anywhere because I'm rooted. Um, some other things that I'll use um, after my balance, um, I might use some frankincense. If I'm, if I'm experiencing maybe a high level of stress because of things going on, I might put a drop of frankincense under my tongue or rub some on my temples. Um, I'll grab an uplifting blend like Cheer or Citrus Bliss is one of my favorites, and I'll put it on my essential oil bracelet. I have a lava bead bracelet, and I have lots of them actually. <laughs> so I use those so that <laughs> I can take a whiff when I need it after I've left my house, and maybe I didn't grab all the oils I wanna have with me that day. Um, so, when those overwhelmed feelings or emotions start to take over even throughout your day, keep a rollerball with you, keep a diffuser bracelet with you, um, grab your citrus bliss on the way out the door and put it in your purse. Use those moments as Jeannie mentioned earlier, take an inhale and an exhale, I think a count of five is what you'd said, um, just to center yourself again, and then move on. And you're gonna break those chemical cycles that can keep you stuck in the emotions that you, you don't want to have. You don't want to make that the focus of your day. I'm not saying that everything's always gonna be in a perfect utopian state, but we can control our reaction to whatever is going on around you. And that's the focus of this. Um, using the oils aromatically and topically can help us create new triggers to some of um, or excuse me, new responses to some of our triggers. So um, diffuse during the day. So and it's, I just think so empowering that we do have the choice, that we can train our bodies to have a different response, taking a breath, using a common oil that'll center us and help us move in a more pleasant direction. So um, that's a topic I could talk about for hours. Um, and, one last thing I just want to mention, this is an older version of it, but um, Emotions and Essential Oils is a book where I get a lot of my emotional um, information about the um, properties of the oils that and what kinds of emotions they help balance. So I recommend that as a resource if you'd like to delve more into that. And certainly you can um, reach out to whoever invited you to this um, class for more information. Um, but I think that covers what I wanted to cover. Thank you so much, Michelle. And if I didn't say thank you to Holly, thank you too. That was awesome from both of you guys. So heartfelt, makes it seem so like, just so, I want to say simple. And that's really it. I mean, you know, listen, I, I started and I, I felt the benefits immediately when I started using oils physically and emotionally. So I integrated them really easily into my life because the changes were so positive. And I just hope that everyone that's participating or, you know, catching up with this later is able to also, you know, kind of understand just how simple it is. It really, what, a, what an amazing gift we have. Thank you. Thank you, Jeannie. I'm glad we're doing this. Um, all right. I'm going to mute you because I have another thing that I want to, Whoops, you muted yourself. <laughs> Darn it, okay. And I didn't mute you? Oh, yeah. all right, you can mute yourself. I'll mute myself. Thank you. Um, so anyway, what I wanted to um, 
what I wanted to talk about is I, I, I don't know every name that's on here. I can see that there's some people that I don't know. I did know that someone raised their hand earlier. And if you have a question, there's a chat function that you can click on the taskbar where it says like mute and video and all that stuff. And there's a chat. So if anybody does have a question, feel free to type it into the chat and I will see it and address it or whoever, you know, it's directed at can see it and, um, and address it. But what I wanted to talk about is because I don't know everyone and I don't know who's a member and who isn't, I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, loyalty reward points and a little bit about how you can get oils into your home. So I'll do that briefly. I'm going to share my screen again really quick um, because I think it's pretty cool to be able to illustrate this. So I will. Um, this is um, a picture of how you can earn um, points if you have a loyalty reward point order. So what happens is when you join doTERRA as a wholesale customer, um, you place your enrollment order, if you will. And then if you go ahead and order another month, you have a choice to order a standard order, which means you're just going to order some products. You're going to get them and that's going to be it. Or you can put it on the loyalty reward template. And what that means is that you are ordering some products and in exchange for those products, you are going to get, well, with the purchase of those products, you are going to get points back. Let's say for argument's sake that that first order is $100. You're going to get 10% of that back in loyalty reward points in an account for yourself. And then after three months, in your fourth, fifth, and sixth month, that 10% is going up to 15. And then months seven through nine, it goes up to 20, then 25. And then after your 12th month, in your 13th month, and from that moment on, it goes up to 30% back. Now, what that means is that you've placed an order every month for 12 months that's above 50 PV, point value or product value. If your order goes below 50, that's okay, but you're not going to um, earn points on it. So you're still, um, you know, you're still keeping the points that you have and they're safe there. But if you were to decide you wanted to close that order at any point during that 12 month period, that's fine too, but you wanna make sure you use your points um, and then reopen it later. If you're gonna close it and then reopen it, you're going back to 10%. And that's it. It's as simple as that. I mean, I find it to be a fantastic way to get tons of free oils because if you order between the first and the 15th of any month, and your order is at 125 PV, you're going to get that month's selected product of the month. Um, oh my gosh, I don't remember what it is this month. Is it Melaleuca? Touch? That was, it was, right? I can't hear you, but I can see that you're nodding. Okay, so it was Melaleuca Touch this month, and, um, and I got one because my order was over 125 PV. Um, you have to place that loyalty reward point order between the 1st and the 15th to take advantage of that. Um, if it isn't, that's okay. You're still going to get your products and you're still going to get your points if it's over 50. And as long as it's, you know, the lowest amount, the product with the lowest amount of PV, I think is five. Um, as long as you have a product in there with PV, your points are remaining in your account and you're still you know, remaining stable at your 10, 15, 20, 25, or 30%, okay? So ultimately, Loyalty Rewards is a program that provides free product credits in the form of points for your monthly purchases that you order on your program. You're qualified to begin during the month following your membership purchase, and as a participant, you will immediately begin to earn points that can be used as cash to purchase your doTERRA products. The longer you continuously participate, the more credits you earn, which can go as high as 30% of your total LRP purchase, which I just explained. I'm just kind of like laying it out there one more time so you get it. So in addition, each month you can also earn the product of the month if your order is at or above 125 PV and processes on or before the 15th. That is that. But I would like to tell you that as you order, you can modify and change your order as many times as you want during the month. You can set it up so that doTERRA notifies you a day or two ahead of time um, via text so that you know before it goes, so that you, if you had forgotten about it for some reason, you can go in and change it. Some months I order lots of oils. Every month I order my Lifelong Vitality, my Probiotic, 
my Terrazyme, which is a en uh, digestive enzyme. I order Mito to Max, which my husband takes. That's a fantastic um, cellular energy booster. Um, and I also take the doTERRA phytoestrogen um, complex supplement. So I always have that in my cart. And then this month that's coming up, March, I just added my Virage skincare system, which I happen to love. And I order it like every three months. Um, it's so affordable. It lasts three months and it's a cleanser, toner, serum, and moisturizer, which I absolutely love. Um, other months I might need new laundry detergent, new hand soap, and new concentrated cleaner. Um, you know, it's wonderful because you're, be, you're, you know, you're able to replace the things that you use every day in your home. You know, your not just your hand soap, but there's also um, the bath bar and the, you know, um, the fractionated coconut oil. And, you know, as I said, all the supplements and there are others, by the way, there's the on guard plus there's the tri ease. Are you holding up products, Michelle? You're smiling over there, but <laughs> But um, there's so many things that you can, you know, make it kind of like a one-stop shop. Things that you're used to buying in other places, get points for these. And then go ahead and use your points for more other, you know, other products that you want to get. Save up for one of those more expensive oils that you don't really want to spend $100 on or something. The rose oil or the Melissa or the Immortel. So that's a way you can do that. Um, and I see a chat. Um, Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for coming, Alice. Oh, and Body Butter is on sale this month and it's heavenly. Yes, it is heavenly. I don't know anybody that doesn't like it. So I'm happy about that. Um, I'm, I'm so happy to have everybody here, by the way. Thank you. Um, so in addition to Lifelong Vitality, I don't know what just happened, but I wrote on that somehow. That's really neat. Um, <laughs> Um, let me tell you a little bit about how you can get oils if you're not somebody who already has a wholesale membership, okay? First of all, reach out to the person who invited you to this call. Uh, they will definitely help you. They, they're working to keep you informed as to how you can, um, you know, obtain your oils and also how you can use them every month and how you can use them safely, by the way. So, you know, make sure that you reach out to those people that um, take the time to help you with that. There's a couple different ways you can buy. Uh, membership to doTERRA is $35. It's similar to like a Costco or BJ's where you pay $35 a year. Um, that entitles you to 25% off of every product that you get from doTERRA. Um, what I recommend for everyone to do is to get an enrollment kit. Uh, basically, doTERRA has packaged lots of products together at varying levels of um, cost and inclusion in terms of like what's, what's in there. There's something called a family essentials kit, which is what we refer to as a starter kit. It's got 10 5 ml bottles of the top 10 most commonly used oils that will replace pretty much anything and everything in your medicine chest. That stuff's, you know, every one of those is great. It also comes with uh, peppermint and on guard beadlets, which are wonderful. Um, and can be used internally. And that also comes with your membership free. Then there's the next kit, which is called the Home Essentials Kit, that has all those same 10 oils, but they're three times larger. They're 15 ml. And that also comes with a petal diffuser, which is wonderful. And then the next kit, which is the most popular kit, is our Natural Solutions Kit, which is a little bit larger. It comes with those 10 oils, but it also comes with the hand soap, the toothpaste, the shampoo, the conditioner, the lifelong vitality supplements, a box, the bigger Lumo diffuser. Um, lots of different oils, including those top 10, but others as well. The hand pump scent, you know, the hand soap and the pumps that go along with it. So uh, the deep blue rub I know is in there. The correct X, there's a lot of things in there. That's our number one selling kit. That also, by the way, when you take that kit or any kit larger than that one, you're going to start at 15%. And if you spend 100 PV the following month on that kit, you're going to get an extra t uh, 100 points put in your um, in your loyalty reward point account. So if you've enrolled in January and or February and you then had to fulfill an obligation where you had to order 100 PV in order to get 100 PV, if you start with the natural solutions kit, you're actually going to get 200 points because you're going to get that new year, new you 100 points and you're gonna get another. But that is only gonna qualify, that particular extra 100 points is only qualifying for those people that enroll during the New Year, New You promotion. This call is being recorded and someone may be listening later. 
So um, it may not always apply, but if you buy the natural solutions kit and you then order 100 PV the following month, you are going to get an extra 100 loyalty reward points in your, um, in your account. So with that said, um, we want to make it easy for you. We are your guides. We all feel as passionate about essential oils as we do about breathing. Seriously. Um, I do my best to talk the talk and walk the walk. And I, and I, it means so much to me when I meet people that feel the same and, and, you know, want to learn the best way to live their most vibrant life. So I am excited to be your guide. I know that Michelle and Holly feel the same way. Uh, we have a newer team member on this call. Her name is Courtney, B Courtney Bullock, and she feels the same way as well. So I know that um, if you're out there and you are looking for someone to help you to make changes in your life, big or small, um, you know, every one of us is, is here to serve you in that endeavor for sure. Um, I'm going to unmute everybody. If anybody has any comments or any questions, now is the time. Um, and then I guess we're going to say good night. So, don't say anything you don't want to hear. Okay, we heard that. So, um, <laughs> um, I'm going to give you a couple seconds. Um, Again, thank you, ladies, and thank you to everyone that participated by making the time tonight to hear what we had to say. If you have questions that you'd rather address privately, by all means, let us know.